Hi, I'm Winnie. And I'm Tim. And together we're Extra Lives TV. We're here to give you the female and the male. The hardcore and the casual perspectives on games for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. This is week six of our show where we give you our no BS thumbs up or thumbs down reviews on the games we've been playing this week. And this week we're going to cover two of your requests and on top of that tell you about one of my favorite puzzle games. You ready? Yeah! Yay! Adam from Palo Alto requested on Facebook that we review a racing game for the iPad. Well Adam, I'll do you one better and review two racing games for the iPad and give you my straight up recommendation on which one to get. Our contenders? The top two racing games in the iTunes App Store. Real Racing HD by Firemint and Need for Speed Shift by EA. Racing games don't need too much of an introduction. You race cars. The big hook here for these games is how you use the iPad like a steering wheel to drive the cars. This accelerometer based control scheme makes these games the consummate apps for showing off an iPad. Both games have crisp graphics that run smoothly with no frame rate problems. Both have a variety of cars, tracks, control settings, car customization options, and race modes. But at the end of the day, my personal favorite is Need for Speed Shift. For several reasons, it's just more gooder. The different cars are just that, different, with options for upgrading acceleration, top speed, handling, etc. instead of just changes in the cosmetic appearance. There are a couple more race modes, including a pretty fun and challenging drift mode. There's a leveling up system that tracks how precise, i.e. clean, or aggressive, i.e. dirty a driver you are which adds a deeper sense of progression to the game. And last, but definitely not least, Need for Speed Shift has a mini-map. Some people might not care, but this is a big deal for me. I want to see what turn is coming before I get to the turn. Real Racing HD does have a cool feature I wish Need for Speed Shift had. The horizon in real racing stays level when you turn the iPad, which helps you stay oriented in those really tight hairpin turns. If I had to put it simply, real racing is a bit more of a sim-styled game and Need for Speed Shift is a bit more arcadey. And I like that, so my vote's to Need for Speed Shift. Winnie? Tim, my vote is with you as well. Need for Speed just had a better look and feel to it in my opinion. It looks gorgeous, the music is better, the addition of a double tilt on your iPad for drift just makes driving so much easier for me. I wish I could do that in real life. Drop 7 by Area Code Entertainment is a puzzler that is often described as a cross between Sudoku and Tetris and the game that will ruin my life. If you're the type to spend your free time reading books about chess, then this game's for you. In Drop 7, you are greeted with a 7x7 grid, which you drop numbered discs into. These discs are randomly numbered from 1 through 7, and if the number on the disc equals the number of discs in the row or column, then that disc disappears. Now the added challenge in this game are the gray tokens. These tokens won't reveal a number until two tokens around it are cleared. After a certain number of moves in a level, a new row of gray disc appears. You'll understand the game within just the first few minutes of playing it, but you'll also do a god-awful job. And that's probably what keeps me coming back. What I also like about the game is that it's very unassuming. There's no time limits, there are no multipliers, no bonuses. It's just a bare-bones addictive puzzler. And at the end of the round, when you're expecting to see your current score, well, it just doesn't show you that information. Instead, it shows you your average score and whether or not you're on an upward trend. How zen. Overall, if you enjoy math-based puzzle games, get it. And even though this game can clearly take over my life, thumbs up from me. The puzzle mechanic behind this game is very sound, but it's just a bit too slow paced for me. I typically prefer puzzle games that are a bit more reflex based, like Tetris and Bejeweled Blitz. Maybe if this game got more difficult more quickly, my opinion would be different, but as it is, thumbs down. Castle Conflict by Broken Kings was recommended to us for review by Abe from San Francisco. It's a strategy game where you command up to eight different units in head-to-head -head combat against a computer or player-controlled opponent. Your goal is to empty your opponent's health bar with your offensive units. In order to send out units though, you'll need money. 
and you get money by sending out worker units to harvest trees that randomly grow in the area between the two castles. But you and your opponent can eliminate the other player's workers with the right offensive units. Basically, the game is rock, paper, scissors on steroids, and I love it. Picking the right time to gather, the right time to strike, and the right time to counter your opponent, and with the right units to boot, is a fun and challenging experience. I do have some beef with the game. It's hard to learn. I could have used a better tutorial and some better in-game documentation, especially on unit strengths and weaknesses, and it's also kind of difficult. Also, the multiplayer, which is always a very cool feature, is only local, no online play. All that being said, the core experience is very well designed, so a thumbs up from me. Winnie? So this game was a lot of fun for me up until about the first dozen or so levels, and then it got very, very, very difficult. There's a lot of trial and error, which made it a lot less fun and rewarding for me, and actually it seemed a little bit unfair. I did have fun up until those levels, but I'm also hesitant to give this a thumbs up because I'm probably not going to play this game again. So, uh, thumbs down, sorry. I'm sorry I didn't like your game. I didn't like yours either. That's true. Truce? Mm -hmm. I guess. Anyway, Abe and Adam, thank you for sending requests. We'll be sending you games shortly. As for the rest of you who are nearly, not nearly as cool as Abe and Adam because you didn't send in requests, you can easily remedy that situation by doing that now. Comment on this video, email us, hit us up on Facebook, let us know what games for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad you want us to review for you, and you'll get some free games. Awesome. See you next week. Bye. This is the blocks that Winnie stands on. These blocks I stand on. <laughs>